Okay, here's a quick test of the adhesives for a really cheap cork floor made out of underlayment using a underlayment that's uh, about 80, 80 cents per square foot. And the first test is just to see how it feels on the bare feet. Uh, I've got a triple layer on my right foot, single layer on my left. Both feel uh, really remarkably firm, a lot less spongy than I expected. Uh, and yeah, kind of both warm compared to the plywood. Definitely noticeably warmer. But I don't feel much difference between the two of them. And uh, I thought maybe the triple would be quite a bit softer, but I'm feeling. No matter the glue, it's it's uh, still pretty firm. Feel so we got uh, different adhesives here. We got a System Three epoxy on these two panels, and then DAP, this weld wood, which is the uh, non-flammable kind, and then 3M, which uh, I think is gonna not stick well enough that I didn't even do a triple layer test. Same thing with the DAP, and then. Uh, tan to tight bond glue interior exterior and uh, just feeling the three triple layer ones they're pretty much equivalent I can feel there's a little bit of a more more rigidity to the epoxy one um, this is the uh, Roberts 1407 these two panels here and uh, it feels about the same as the wood glue maybe maybe very slightly spongier so let's look at uh, how the adhesives worked. I'm just going to do a quick test with with the uh, both kind of gouging under the theory that you might drop something on this, or uh, I also want to see how it uh, how well it might be secured to the floor, both in terms of not peeling up if it's in a moist environment here in the a bathroom, uh, but also not. Uh, being completely irremovable if I have to redo this. So, start with the epoxy. It's a quick hammer test. I can definitely feel some venting going on there if you hit it really hard. Some permanent crushing of the uh, of the cork. And then if I use the sharp side, yeah, definitely pretty easy to take a divot out of this. And then in terms of uh, how well it's stuck on. I'm just going to try to peel up a corner. Even the corners are pretty darn well it's stuck down. You can see the epoxy. I mixed some microfibers in here which is supposed to be good for laminating. And uh, If I was trying to remove this floor, I, could, I can't even get underneath it. To try to pull it up. So it's definitely stuck down nicely. Remove it eventually, but it's going to take. This is really hard. It's very well stuck to the plywood, and it's going to take a lot of sanding to get it off. Probably would just remove the plywood and redo the cork on top of it, but it's it's on there. So that's System Three Silver Tip Epoxy with the uh, fast hardener. This uh, DAP weld wood gets pretty crappy reviews overall, and I think it may be pretty sensitive to whether you stir it and its temperature. But let's see how we did here. Oh, I forgot the silver tip here. Let's see how these, how the triple layer did. Definitely more sound uh, dampening. It's still getting dented. You can still gouge it for sure. But those three layers are, it, this looks like a solid layer of cork. And if I try to go in between layers here, it's, Wow, this, it's tough to even get in between them. You can get them to peel apart, but uh, not very well. And if I was trying to remove this whole floor, I think I'd have to go at it with the hammer. And that came off in a nice piece. Yeah, you could probably get it off pretty quick. Did some damage to the plywood underneath, but not too bad. 
All right, so for that, that's system three. Compare that to DAP Weld Wood contact cement. Basically, let this stuff dry for a half hour, uh, which is problematic if you're laying out a big floor. I'm not sure how you uh, coat a big area if this without uh, getting it stuck to itself or glue everywhere. But let's just uh, assume that we could do that. It's definitely getting uh, some permanent depressions in it. It's pretty well stuck on. But it's, uh, it's not gonna do well if you were actually working at it with a sharp object or dropping glass on it or something. Let's see how it uh, how well it's stuck down here. Definitely worked the tool under there pretty well, just by hand. The middle's pretty well stuck though. The edges not as much. It's not like you can just peel it up or anything. But it's definitely not stuck down as well as the epoxy. It's, it's definitely cured. All of these have been sitting for a few days to a week. Uh, it would be a lot easier to remove. And it's definitely, the edges are not very well stuck down. So I think I might worry that this would be prone to maybe uh, peeling up on the edges a little bit. But it's, it's not bad. Actually, when I put it down, I thought it wasn't the best. I thought maybe I waited a tiny bit too long, um, but you know that's that's acceptable, and it's available in Ace Hardware. So whereas Silver Tips is pretty tough to get, and this is a lot cheaper. But all right, that's that test without any lamination test. That's not bad. And then this 3M spray glue could be easy to put on. You only have to wait about 30 seconds before you put the two sides together. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, this is almost going to be peeled up. Now it's pretty well stuck in the middle. Yeah, the same, about the same. This stuff is definitely susceptible to chunking. And if we're going to remove it, we can almost slowly feel it giving way if I pull on it, but it's pretty well stuck in the middle. Yeah, so it's as easy, maybe slightly easier than the contact cement to get up. <clears throat> so fast to put on. Probably easier than the contact cement. Might work. So last but not least is tight bond. Oh, not last, second to last. Let's see how this goes with the tight bond two. Not the same. You can hear it's definitely not as loud. I guess that's the advantage of three layers is if you had an apartment downstairs neighbors or something, you, you could really dampen footfalls with this. And in terms of removing it, it feels uh, more friable. It sounds a little crunchy, crunchy when you're lifting it up. This was pretty easy to put on. I just put it on, on the cork and laid it down. And it's pretty easy to take off. Feels like the edges are pretty well down. Definitely feels like stiffer on the edge. Like you can't, it's not like a, a piece of tape. You slowly feel it giving away. It just felt a little bit like that was happening with the contact cement and the 3M. Last but not least, we've got Robert's 
Got this at Home Depot. I was looking for something slightly different, but it said it was okay for cork, so pretty cool. You scoop it up and lay it out with this trowel, eight inch square holes in it. And you don't have to put it on one side. So that's nice, kind of like the epoxy and the tight bond. If you had to do big areas of a floor, this looks like a good deal financially and also logistically. Just lay it out and put the, the uh, cork down and you can adjust it a little bit. Let's see how it does. Ooh, it's loud. The plywood was up on the edge. Definitely sounds different. Chunks up about as easily as everything else. Ooh, it's definitely still tacky in there. It hasn't cured on the inside. Wow, it's been at least three days. That's interesting. Totally sticky mess on the inside. And I gotta hit it pretty pretty hard. Interesting. It seems a little less susceptible to the uh, the hammer indentations. Maybe that's because it's got a little bit of a bounce left to it. Uh, try peeling it up here. It's definitely well stuck on the sides. It's really stuck. Okay, this would be tough to get off. I'll have to go at it with the hammer. stuff that's still stretchy it would be be a job to get it off but it's it's definitely on there pretty good and I'm, it's still tacky here but not like wet on the inside of this triple layer one let's see if we can pull two layers apart here It's a little tacky inside. You can kind of get one layer off. But... Huh, I can't even tell whether I'm under a layer or not. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much cured up in there. I don't know why I found this pocket of wet stuff over here. Still, I can, I can still smell it's off gassing. What's going on in here? Yeah, this is still wet. Tacky, definitely tacky, and definitely still not cured. It's, uh, this is, that's between two layers of, like the first and second layer of the cork. Maybe it's just having, well, even the, between the second and third, it hasn't really cured. It's been at least two or three days. That's interesting. It's a sticky mess. All right, I think that's the three adhesives.